Hello everyone, my name is Denise and today is the 25th of October 2021. And I'll be doing a quick scripture reflection of today's scripture readings. Okay, first I'll be reading from Romans chapter 8 verses 12 to 17. Brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Fast forward down to the bottom of this passage. We are children of God, and if children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. So here, if we just zoom into the title, I mean into this uh, deeds of the body, what does deeds of the body mean? Okay, It's helpful to bring to mind the seven deadly sins which are Pride, envy, anger, sloth, gluttony, lust, and avarice. So these are the seven deadly sins. And yes, I'm guilty of every single one of them. So there's no need to pretend to be something I'm not. Yes, I'm guilty of them. And if, if Romans chapter 8 is correct, then yeah, if I live according to the deeds of the body, I will die. So is there any hope for someone like me? Let's scroll down to today's gospel passage and see if there's any hope for someone like me, okay? The gospel is taken from Luke chapter 13 verses 10 to 17. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath and there was a woman there who was for 18 years crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he laid his hands on her, and she at once stood straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. So this is pretty awesome because this lady who was bent over 18 years, she's a picture of someone like me suffering for her sins. For 18 years, she's bent over walking like this. So she's suffering because of her sins. She's not being able to, to stand erect and live a good life. Okay, So Jesus uh, came and healed her because she can't help herself. So Jesus came and healed her first by giving her permission. You know, said, woman, you're set free of your infirmity. So it's a verbal thing. Then he went to touch her. Touching is important because it shows that I still love you. You're not too dirty for me. I still love you. Right? Immediately she could stand up straight now. Does it mean that by standing straight and, and staying away from the vices and embracing the virtues, does it, does it mean that uh, if she lives in this column you know, with all the virtues, does it mean that she will have no more suffering? Well, that's not true. She'll probably still suffer. She'll still suffer even though she's humble. She no longer has uh, envy, anger, sloth, gluttony, lust, and avarice. But she'll still suffer. She'll suffer for righteousness, right? Because if we refer back to Romans 8, you see, if only we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. So there will be suffering, but it's suffering for righteousness. So in the past, we suffer because of our sins, right? Now we live a good life and we suffer for righteousness, which is great because then we can gain our virtues and we can gain merit. That's that's awesome. So I like it that he actually faced some opposition from the leader of the synagogue because that gave him an opportunity to say something beautiful. He said that uh, every single day our, our ox and our asses, they get thirsty, right? They need to be untied. Even on Sabbath day, they need to be untied from the manger and led to the watering hole to drink because they are very thirsty. So this 18 years uh, lady plagued with, for 18 years, you know, walking like that, attacked by Satan for 18 years, she's really dying of thirst, just like the ox and the ass. And who's the living water? God and Jesus Christ. That will quench her thirst once and for all. So that's beautiful. That's also a reference to the lady at the well, right? 
So, okay, that's the end of today's scripture reflection. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless. And if you like it, kindly press subscribe, like and share. Thank you.